hello guys welcome to pc tips pro so in this video today we are going to see how you can create a professional email address for your domain let's say you have got certain domain uh, on the godaddy so and you want to create an professional email address for your domain so this is the right video for you so stay connected let's proceed further in order to create a professional email for your domain first you need to go ahead and log into your godaddy account so here once you go to the godaddy website on the top you will see this login option i already have logged into my account so you can see my name is coming up here so after going up to your account click on this my product option it will open a new window that will be your godaddy dashboard then scroll down and you can see here the web hosting option coming up so click on this drop down and you will see that there is an option coming up deluxe linux hosting with cpanel so this is the hosting plan i have got with godaddy so at the right side you can see manage option click on this manage Now once you click on the manage, it will give you a new page. There you can see a right top corner, an option coming up cPanel admin. So click on this cPanel admin. Now make sure guys, uh, the process which I'm going to explain you here to create the professional email that is completely for free. That means you don't have to buy uh, any email plan from GoDaddy. Uh, it's already uh, you, you can use certain space for your email for free that is already provided by GoDaddy with cPanel hosting so now this is once you click on the cPanel admin you will have this cPanel dashboard now scroll down to the very almost bottom you can see this is the email box you know there are a lot of the options you can see like email accounts forwarder email routing there are a lot of the settings you are getting here to choose from so click on the top one which says email accounts now you can see there are a lot of the emails i already have created for my domain so let's say if you uh, let me show you an example let's say if you have any domain which is xyz.com and you want to create the email like this then uh, you can just simply do it so let me show you how you can do it once you come to this email accounts dashboard at the right side top corner you can see an option coming up create so click on this create option now here it will give you the list of all the domains you have got in your account so you can choose the domain uh, for which you want to create the professional email so let's say I want to choose a domain which is arsoft.co.in and I want to create an email that is contact at arsoft.co.in. So you can see this is the username and it will end up with at arsoft.co.in. So you can give any name as per your requirements. If you want, you can create support at arsoft.co.in or if you want you can create billing at arsoft.co.in it's totally your choice so i already have several email uh, created uh, for this domain which is arsoft.co.in so let me just give a simple name which is example at arsoft.co.in now this is the username you should uh, provide here according to you use and after that you can enter the password so this is the password you can provide according to i mean you can you should rem remember it easily so that in future uh, you can access it by login uh, to your email dashboard now after entering this username and the password click on this create option now you can see at the right top corner it's creating the email account that means it's creating your email 
for this example at arsoft.co.in so this is the same process you need to follow for your GoDaddy or uh, if you have the GoDaddy hosting and not only the GoDaddy this I mean if you have the cPanel hosting you can uh, use this process for any cPanel hosting you have got because either your provider is GoDaddy or uh, like let's say you have got the host gator or you have got the hosting uh, doesn't matter if they are providing you the cPanel hosting the process would be the same so let me scroll down and let me see uh, the email I will have to choose from the list so it was in here you can see example at arsoft.co.in it's already created so once it will be created you will see here there are several options coming up like check email connect devices manage so in order to log into your email in order to check your email you can click on this check email it will log in into your email account now you can see how much space you have got it's 250 MB so let me click on this check email option now you can see it's using a web mail which is a round cube so from the next time you can uh, for the next time to directly log in into your email you can click on this open my inbox when I log in and then click on this open option and you can also copy this URL I will guide you so first click on this open option and now you can see I logged into the email and you can see the professional email here which is example at arsoft.co.in now you can see you got an we got an welcome email also now it has given uh, certain instructions how you can manually configure your email on any other devices also let's say if you want to configure it on your phone like uh, it's Android phone or Apple phone you can see you got the instruction how to configure on those devices also now uh, the thing is next thing let's say if you want directly log into your email and you don't want to go through the same process to just only log into your email then you can just simply copy this URL from the top and uh, let me show you you can copy this URL and you can go to any other browser and paste the same URL and press enter it will give you the login it will ask for the login details directly here you can see the webmail and all you will have to do is just use the same email address and the password you created and it will work fine let me show you so it was the email I created which is arsoft.co.in and now let me go ahead and enter the password and I will click on this sign in you see logging successful that means uh, this now you can see we have successfully logged into our email account so that's all guys in this tutorial if you still have any query then you can write down in the comment area i will be there to answer thank you so much